question number one. Okay, so this is question number one, guys. It asks you, it says, <clears throat> using a point calculation methods, and I'm going to give you the fig for it. You will get the fig, a figure like this. Um, the foot candle on the vertical surface for each point and the average foot candle for the, uh, for, for the vertical surface. You will get a figure like this with 10, 20, 30 is the distance, 65, 55, 45 is the angle. Very easy. I'm going to give you the distances and the angles, and I'm asking you to find, asking you guys to find the foot candle. So if you look at point number one, here's point number one. This is the formula. Remember that candela power times sine Q divided by D? Candela power 335 is coming from the fig that I, I gave you guys. By the way, for the test, Jeff, for the test, you will have the fig. That fig, that 11.2 uh, and 11.3, you will have this fig. Everybody okay? So you get the candela power multiplied by sine the angle divided by 10, get you the answer. The same thing for two, the candela power divided by the square uh, of, the, um, of the angle. And point number three is here. And then this is the maximum. This is the minimum. The average is add them up. And here's your average. Very simple, very easy, straightforward. One more time. There's three points, point one, two, and three. Here's point one calculation, point two calculation, point three calculation. Uh, and I, then I picked the maximum. This was the minimum. Point 0.3 is the minimum. Point 0.1 is the maximum, just looking at the numbers. And the average, I just added the three numbers and I averaged them. That's it. And we went through this one before too. Any comments about this, guys? Any comments? Any questions? The candle power, that's going to be in the... The, the foot candle power is going to be coming from 11.2 and 11.3. By the way, you don't need to all even go to the book. I already... Um, copy it to the test. So the values, my friend is asking, the, where did you get these values, Chad? This value, and this value, and where's the other one? And this value. These are coming from the figs in 11.2 or 3. Any question, guys? So know the formulas, know how to do the calculation for them. So two questions, simple, easy, no need. Uh, I'm sorry, they're both? No, question number one. There's another question coming. Yeah, this is question number one. There's another question. When you guys are done, I'll flash question number two. I was just lazy to erase it. I just thought it. We, could, we went over this one, right, Kerry? We went for, this is just a quick review. Just to refresh your mind because we went through a lot of stuff. Very easy, guys. The formula, um, Andrew, bring it to the test. I don't care. And plug it in. That's how we do a vertical calculation. I will give you the distance. And I will give you the angle. And you just have to plug him in. Cool? Let me know when I can flash the second one. Okay, so the second question, um, going, the second question that you guys are going to have is um, you have, you need to find the zonal cavity um, calculation, find the following, uh, you have a lamp, you guys have all this information in front of you, everybody knows, I have the lamp, I'm using a, a lumens, all this info is in front of you in a sheet, everybody understand that's from the sheet that you guys have, lumens are 3,000, 3, lamps are 3, 3 lamp, lamper, uh, foot candle 80, uh, life loss factor is 28, coefficient of utilization 71, area is 40 by 40. My question for you would be, find how many fixtures you need using this type of fixture. How many fixtures do you need? The, the formula, very easy. Take the foot candle, multiply by the area, divided by lumens, lamp, coefficient of utilization, LLF. Here's my foot candle is 80. 
times 40 by 40 is the area, divide by 3,000 lumens is the lumen, 3 lamps, because I'm using 3 lamper, 0.7 coefficient of realization, I don't want you to calculate it, I'm already giving it to you right here, and 0.8 <clears throat> is the light loss factor. That will end up with 25 pixels, cool? Then I need you to sketch and find the distances from the sides of the room, like we did. You'll see in a second. See how hard that is? Almost. Yep, actually the same thing. Any question, guys, about this? Cool. Let me show you the uh, sketch. Then the sketch up, I have 25. I put, like we did, we put the 25, and then. You take 5 because there's 5 rows, 5 times x equals 40, and 5 because there's 5 columns, 5 times y equals 40, and you find x is 8 and y is 8, in my case. Cool? So what, if it, the, more, the most important thing I want you guys to understand, where the heck did the 5 came to be? 5 is the number of columns, right? Where the heck is the 5 here came to be? For the y, 5 is the number of rows. Number of rows. The number of columns will, de will decide x, the number of rows will decide y. So when we have the text, uh, the test, you might not have 25, 5 by 5. You might have 24. Well, you have to use 6 by 4, right? Everybody understand that one? So I want you to identify where the x and the y and find them. Very easy, symbol. That's a bonus test for you guys. Okay, and there will be 20 questions from the questions at the end of the book that you guys have. And I will put them on the network shortly. Any comments, any questions? See how hard that is? Piece of cake? <clears throat> test. The tests are uh, chapter, the first test is chapter 16 through 20. That's the wiring. And the second test is chapter 11 through 16. That's the lighting. Cool? Test is on Monday. All right, that's it.